Welcome back. We're here with Angela, Angela Maxwell from the Bunny Hutch, and today she has brought gravel the northern oh pine my. snake. He is up for adoption, correct? Yes. And so tell us a little bit about him. So gravel is a northern pine snake. He's about four and a half feet long, but it's not a very thick kind of snake, unlike the anacondas. So he won't get much longer than this. He's a full grown male. Okay. He's microchipped, fully vetted. They've all the animals have had 90 days isolation at the shelter. So we know they're all perfectly healthy, free of parasites. Right. And um, they come with custom built tanks that look like where the animals from in the wild. And in Gravel's case, that could be your backyard. So northern pine snakes are fo found all throughout Virginia. Uh -huh. And he was surrendered to animal control and was purchased at a pet expo, probably for $15 in a little cup. Okay. And now he's a big happy boy. Gotcha. And so for people who are wondering out there, they're like, how do I make sure that <laughs> this snake is not going to bite my child, not going to bite me? It's, there's not necessarily a way you can train a snake, Correct. but talk a little bit about that. So like dogs and cats have been brought in from the fires of the caveman for 40,000 years. So reptiles as pets, 40. Uh -huh. So what we do is, it, he also comes with a tote that's called a feeder tote. Yeah. We never ever feed the snakes, the reptiles, the lizards in their enclosure, it's in a tote. So he never associates where he spends his days in his enclosure with food. Okay. He associates that with the feeder tote. So we have people who can put their hands in the exhibit and they have little interactive logs and they're all natural plants with a water feature. So he's good around humans he's already. He's great. And around I'll humans. tell you what, we've been here and this is my first time touching a snake, <laughs> but he's been very tame. Yep. I mean, I've just been holding him, not dangerous at all. Yep. I mean, it's just really subtle. But you guys have, as an organization have an event coming up as yes, well. Yes, we do. So we'll be um, at the Oceanfront. Tervis Tumblers is doing a big fundraiser for us. Uh -huh. So from 11 to 4 today, we'll be at the Oceanfront. And not only will Gravel be there, but Scarlet is a nine foot red tail boa. She'll be with us. Okay, she's uh, not up for adoption. She right? is not up for adoption. Okay. Something like the animals that live for 300 years, like the large tortoises, um, Scarlet will grow to be about 12 to 15 feet. Okay. Um, she's available for adoption okay. to a zoological entity, like a zoo's education apartment. So she can be an ambassador, like Gravel okay. can be an ambassador in someone's home All for right. snakes and reptiles. Well, thank you so much for coming in. You've definitely opened my <laughs> eyes to snakes. <laughs> snakes need love too. Yes, they do. All right, thank you so much thank for you joining so much. us. And you can learn more about them on uh, the organization on 13newsnow.com. We'll make sure to post that. We'll be back after this break.